welcome to worldview india mr president you are a muslim country uh, an island nation 100% muslim what were the intellectual currents uh, both in islam and in in political thought that shaped your administration and that have shaped these islands islam came to this country in the 12th century and since then the maldives has been a 100% muslim country we are not influenced by um, extremist uh, thoughts at all we are we are a, a country which has uh, found it possible to merge between our traditional ideas and uh, lifestyles and the thinking of islamic scholars so i think uh, we are in the happy position of being a very uh, harmonious and stable society so this problem of extremism i mean you are a moderate society a moderate islamic country how have you been able to insulate yourself from these sort of extremism in islam that is uh, on view elsewhere in the vicinity and do you see that as a threat to your country islam is uh, as a religion of moderation and peace and compassion as you know we have realized that all divians have uh, shaped their life on the tenets of islam as they see it so i think there there, there is uh, uh, nothing at all that would uh, attract us towards any extremist extremist ideas even within islam talking of sark uh you had held a very successful sark summit here but what next are you visualizing a summit say in the next 3 months 4 months i hope the next summit will be convened soon but i can't say for sure but uh, i feel that prospects are now better than they were say a few few months ago why do you say that sir because i think tensions in the uh, sark region at the moment seem to be uh, uh, a little reduced than it was a month back the reason i'm asking you is because you have your ears close to the ground on that subject and you have your sources of information so is your optimism based on solid information yes i get a feedback which uh, makes me believe that things are going to be better in the coming months as i see it even now after almost uh, after things ha- had been at almost a standstill for over a year a senior officials meeting of sark countries was held recently last november and now even la- just last week the technical committee on science and technology took place in uh, islamabad and we have communications and transport commu- uh, yes uh, technical committee on communications transport took place in islamabad and now the technical committee on science and technology and the technical committee on environment meteorology and forestry are going to take place are going to be held in delhi and timpu respectively this month so things are moving now what has do you think sark achieved and i mean if one or two people can just completely mobilize sark then what is there in it for for the world to be optimistic about we haven't actually utilized the potential of sark the seven countries possess a tremendous potential for cooperation but we have not been able to utilize that so far so you are an island country and global warming people have been drawing a sketch that global warming might cause some of the islands like the maldives some of your islands even to disappear underwater in years to come is this a realistic fear in the past 100 years there has been global warming and there has been a rise in sea levels of about 25 cm during the past 100 years and now because of the increased emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere temperatures are going to rise in which case we'll be facing a very serious uh, prospect 
of sea level rise. You have seen the Maldives. We are a very low-lying country. Our land rises only about four to six feet above mean sea level. So if we are going to have a sea level rise of even half a meter, that is one half feet, it will be a serious threat to our country, to our land, infrastructure, and even to the survival of the Maldives. So your country is, tourism is, is flourishing, but your country is divided between the resorts and between the islands. In the islands, there are these simple Islamic uh, Muslims who live abstemious lives, no alcohol, but that exactly is the order of the day on the resorts, which leads to a kind of schizophrenia. Does it create problems, social imbalances in your society? It doesn't, you know. I think we are fortunate in that we have uh, allocated certain uh, geographically uh, independent islands for tourism. Independent in the sense that it is isolated from the rest of the country. So all our tourist hotels are built on these islands and uh, no Maldivians live there permanently. Only the staff and other people who have to be there. In that sense, I think we are very fortunate we can almost demarcate between uh, the habits and, uh, uh, you know, of, of, the, uh, of our visitors and between our people. Thank you very much, very much. Thank you.